All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahushai. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors and salutations to you, brothers, that's preaching this word in sincerity and, and faith. You know, and um, Shalom to you, sincere listeners and believers thereof. All right, it's a couple of the brothers from the Great Millstone, San Francisco Bay Area camp. On the brother Yari Yala. On the brother Shamar. On the Walker Bar. Yeah, cut. Um, so yeah, we're just coming, uh, coming together in the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem uh with another uh, lesson. The Lord's will be edifying to you, uh, to the body. You know, uh, we're gonna title this lesson, uh, "Can't Beat Us, Can't Join Us." You know, all right, because um, what we're what we're up against is what is a, a spiritual opposition, mm -hmm. and and uh, against what against uh. uh carnal people so what they they uh tend to um they try to take they try to make it a physical opposition thing these people are carnal two-thirds of our people esau for sure all right you know and they try to think of any way to come up against us and to beat us all right which really they're not coming up against us they're coming against y'all by shim y'all shy yet in their eyes they're coming up uh, against us and they find themselves what losing miserably certain guys turn into scoffers uh, mm -hmm. some guys have been scoffers naysayers all right do uh, uh putting hell on putting hell on brothers and then they and then what now all of a sudden they try to slide back in hop on comment boards trying to join the movement mm -hmm. you know the whole time yep. you were blaspheming get putting putting holy hell on jake you know brothers got anything oh i, I got some uh okay. uh you know 33 and 30. yep it is also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the of the houses. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep, and that's what <laughs> people. That's what you've been seeing going on. You know, dudes. Uh, we was talking about it last night. How uh, th guys all of a sudden now they trying to they trying to um separate themselves from us. You know, that be claiming they are Israelite, but then they're like, no, we we're Israelites, but we not like them. We don't we don't preach uh death or hate to people. Da da da. All right, basically talking against us. All right, even if you, even if whether you say you're Israelite or not, it's like everybody's talking against us just because they claim that we making you look bad. When y'all yep. actually we making our people look good, we not doing anything wrong. We're doing everything right. That's right. Um, yeah, it's also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying. Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming from the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, and that's what everybody's doing. Everybody telling their friend, their brother, you know, talking to different people about it. Because it was on the news, so, you know, when it was first on the news, everybody was literally talking about it. And they still are, you know, because it's still a, a, a relevant topic since it was on the news. You got the, that uh, the, that info wars. They Now they're trying to roll up to different camps or whatever. All right. Yep. Everybody's everybody's talking about it, trying to hear what the hear what we're saying, hear hear what's coming from forth from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is coming from us, because we his his uh, mouthpiece are the prophets, all right, the men who are set up to preach his word, which is uh, preaching the right doctrine, all right. It says, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. Mm -hmm. And they hear thy words, but they would not do them. Yeah, they they hear our words, but you ain't going to do them, all right? So you'll sit there and listen to what we're saying and everything, but you're not going to do it, all right? We over here telling you that you're not supposed to be, we're not, um, the, the red Hebrew eating my your enemy. He's not your friend, all right? Two-thirds of your own people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all the enemy too, all right? We telling you how the, the judgment that's going to befall these red Hebrew Edomites and these and what you're not supposed to do as far as like keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. And our people hear everything, every last word that we say, and they'll hear every last word, but they're not going to do it. All right? Because it's not in them, really. All right? Yep. I got a quick precept, Bubba Kishore. Bring back, it out. Just to back off that point real fast. So I can uh, pull it. This is, um, uh, damn, it's slipping. Never, uh, never mind. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, I think this is it right here. Sorry. Yep, this is, um, yep. This is, damn, damn, damn. Matter of fact, just keep going. I, I'll, I'll try to find it. It's not, it's not popping up. So I can. Hey, I'm going to read Ezekiel 33. We'll start from the top of 31 again. Mm -hmm. 
come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Yeah, with their mouth they show love. They be like, they'll throw up the fist, like, all right, keep doing your thing, da da da. But their heart going after, go off after their covetousness, man. All right, they're not really about it, you know. You're not really on our side, right? And it's only going to be shown. Um, it's going to be made more clear as that that more persecution and demonization happens, you know, because now it's to the point where. People see you, they'll be like, hey, you are you, you know, you, you're a Hebrew Israelite, you was out there on the streets talking, right? Da da da. And, and you either got to say, like, you for it or you're against it. There's no in between no more. You can't be lukewarm with it now. You got to either be all the way with it or all the way against it. And really, and really, it's, it's not even up to you going back to the theme of the lesson, you know? Because, yep. like, uh, many are called, yet few are chosen. And the Lord is just manifesting his, his chosen, you know? We're in a time where the Lord is just manifesting. Who are his chosen? He's making it known those who, who are still standing in great boldness uh, uh, towards his name. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those who are not offended in Yahweh Shah. Straight. You know. That's right. Yep. That's what it comes down to, man. A lot of these these guys, you know what I mean? They uh, like like the brother said, you know, uh, you want the Israelite guys? Uh, no, I like what y'all doing, man. You know, but it's always a but. Like the uh, other y'all call said, man, but why you gotta call him the weak red Hebrew Edomite? <laughs> You know, why you got to go so hard on a black woman? Yeah, why you got to use curse words? Yeah, why you got to use what they call profanity? When they, um, they ignorant, they don't even know what word profane means outside of the temple, which they are, man. Lord, we will get that in uh, Nehemiah. They ain't got no part in building this, man. Yeah, yeah, come on. We're going to pull all those scriptures through the spirit. Yeah, I got I got this real, real, real quick. This the, uh, this one of them, it was another one, uh, the new, uh, I believe, I, I want to say Romans. But this, um, I'll pull this one out. St. Matthew chapter uh, 15, verse 7, it says, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, which Isaiah is the prophet of Isaiah, showing you that what? The New Testament and the Old Testament both both uh, complement each other, man. All right? In the New Testament, what? The prophets, which which we're talking about who? The Lord, Yahweh Shai, who, who, was actually, who was a prophet as well, was going into the Old Testament. Said, I come... I, I didn't come to do away with the uh uh with the uh the law nor the prophets are right, but to fulfill, you know, because because right. the Old Testament was a bunch of uh, prophecies to come to pass what during the time when Yahweh Shai hit the scene, the apostles all right she even now, you know, the time mm -hmm. even now, all right, you know we're still right. in the time of prophecy, so why 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 would the Old Testament or the prophecies of, uh, thereof be done away with, man. Yet that's what pe that's what these demons uh, attempt to push out. But I continue on. So like it says, ye hypocrites, well uh, did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, "This people draw uh, nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me." Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how our people are. They draw nigh with they their mouths and their lips, but their heart is far from y'all. Bashim y'all shy. All right, you just you're just you're just off. You're wicked. Yep. All right, you always like um, the brother was saying. They'll they'll say like you like what we do and this and that. Yet you you find something to be offended at or something to disagree with, mm -hmm. to rebuttal about. And why is that? Because your heart is really far from Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You don't yep. really, you're not really you don't really love the heavenly Father. Because if you did, you wouldn't have an issue with anything we're doing. Because we're everything that we're doing or everything that we say. It's out of the straight out of the scriptures. We don't just speak out of our hearts or out of our like you know making stuff up. We bringing out the scriptures and everything we're saying is backed up by the scriptures. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, well, you know, their heart goes after their covetousness, like the um, scripture said. Hey, just like Saul, yeah, I saw that a direct order. All right, yeah. through the Spirit from the Heavenly Father. And what did he do? He rebelled. Yeah. You know, he went after his own covetousness. He went after his own heart. He did what he wanted to do. Yep. All right. Yep. You know, I got a precept. Come on. This one, Proverbs one and fifteen. Unto the pure, all things are pure. Yep. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, it's nothing pure. But even their mind and the, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Yep. And that's our people. They their mind and their conscience is defiled because they're not pure. Not everything that we're saying is unpure to them because they're not pure. All right. They don't. It doesn't make sense to them because they're carnal. They're not spiritual. Yep. All right. right. 
They and they they have they have itching ears like the scriptures say as well. They want to hear what's pleasing to them. They don't want, they don't really want to hear the true words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They want to hear the word according to how they want it. They expect it to be taught. Yeah, you know? good scriptures. Yeah, you know whatever whatever is convenient for them, so to speak. All right, so they can just keep on living the regular. Be a, basically you being a, a so called black American and just saying you're an Israelite. That's really what you want to do. You want to stay here in Babylon. If you got a problem with what we saying, you want to stay here in Babylon, man. All right? Yep. You want to stay under this, these red Hebrew Edomites and keep on working your weak-ass 9 to 5 and being a slave for the red Hebrew Edomite instead of having him as a slave if you have a problem with what we're saying. <laughs> and if that's your mind frame, then you're completely adversarial to the doctrine, all right? Yeah. You're adversarial to your Yeah, really? Because all we talk is what's in the scriptures, man. All right? Hey, us being uh, the house of David, mm -hmm. what? David, a man after the Most High's heart. Yeah. yeah. So we know about what scripture is about, man. What the scripture says. But um, yeah, I got yeah. one more verse. Yeah, come on. Yep, Titus one and sixteen. They profess that they know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, yep. but in work they deny Him. Yeah, they profess that they 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 um they know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but look at their works. Look at what they doing. The same ones that got a problem with what we doing. They they eating pork. You eating shrimp. Lining up your beard. All right. You committing adultery. You doing all manners, manner of evil, but you got problems with what we're doing. Yet you try to say that you, you're you a true follower of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And a lot of you dudes don't even got the right name. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I had to do a little quick lesson on that earlier, man. You know, here it is. These guys didn't, wouldn't even know that they was Israelites if it wasn't for the, uh, the, the different sects that came out of one west, you know. But here it is. They talk shit about one west. They'll call upon um Yahuwah, uh, Elohim, Yah, all right? Just like the Elder Yashawamba said, man, if you hear somebody saying Yah, man, get far away from them, you know? Yeah, for real. It says, uh, they profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. And that's exactly what they are. They're reprobates because they don't understand the, the, the true judgments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? And they're disobedient. Because you're not listening to what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told you to do. All right? These dudes who are making videos against us, they don't even take their ass on the highways or byways. All right? right? You don't even get on your own people. All right? You just over here being nice, sugarcoating everything. All right? You're doing everything completely out of order. You're disobedient, disorderly. All right? That's why they're coming up against us, because we're doing everything in order. You have more on that, or? No, that was it. You got it, bro. Yeah, this is... uh. First Samuel 15 and 23, you know, back to the, the topic. Hey, because really, that's the spirit. Because the um the elder Yahweh call was out with the brother Shemayim Sunday. And, you know, they came back pretty much. It was like, you know, hey, really, that's what it is. You know, the elder was saying, like, they was out and about. And they just seen, you know, Jake's. And, you know, we're, we're spiritual men. So we can we can look at you and read what spirit you have on you. And, he, and the spirit got on him. He's like, all right, that's the house of Saul. You know what I mean? All right. Just pointing out all you wicked ass niggas. You, you're of the house of Saul, all right. Chiefly, you niggas that that know that know what's up, that know it's your Israelites, all right. That know right for wrong, and choose to mm -hmm. to do wrong. This is uh First Samuel fifteen and twenty three, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, mm -hmm. and stubbornness is as the iniquity in uh it's as iniqui uh, iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the mm -hmm. Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. You know, oh, can you read that again, yeah, Baba Gashan? Good. This is uh, 1 Samuel 15 and 23. It says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. All right? Now, I will tell you in Isaiah 30, the 30th chapter, man. You know, 39. This is a rebellious house. Ezekiel, what does it say? Ezekiel, the third chapter, man. Be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Okay, and rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And you go to the law, what does the, what does the law say? Suffer not a witch to live. That's, right. That's all you got to reject the word and don't want to do as the scriptures say. You don't want to follow these precepts, which are commandments. You're like witches, man, and, and magis and low-level warlocks and shit. That's right. That's right. We don't want, bro. Yeah. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And stubbornness is as iniquity, which is sin upon sin and idolatry, yep. which is going against the first commandment, being mm -hmm. stubborn. All right. And we all heard that um, growing up, you know, uh, hard-headed, stubborn. Right. You know, 
That's the that's characteristic of, a, of, of the two thirds, man. But what, man? We heard the words of the Most High, man. We weren't stubborn to it, man. You know, we weren't rebellious against it. And, but ultimately, man, it goes back to Isaiah six and nine, man. That's why you can't beat us, and you ain't gonna be able to join us because it, uh, you wasn't uh, appointed to, man. Yep, it's not in you. It's not in you, man. Yes, and you got our people got demons on them, man. That's right. And the only way to, to cleanse your way, as it tells you in Psalms one hundred nineteen chapter, where was Saul? So the young man cleans his ways. All right, Malak Dawada said, by taking heed, therefore, according to thy word. Okay. That's right. You got more? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, I'll finish it off. It says, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Yeah, see, and that was talking to uh to Saul. Yep. Okay, we're, we're a nation of what? Of kings and priests. That's right. <laughs> like the brother Small, man, man, these niggas want to be equal with the vilest thing on the planet earth the only thing that has no place in the kingdom man that's not a king mindset you know yep kingdom mindset. if you want to be equal with any fucking heathen then you ain't in no king mindset yep. why you got our people talking about their nation of uh kings and, and queens you know mm -hmm. you niggas are fucking peasants man you got more huh? no that was it that was it hey can i go back to this music 33 i got two more yeah, verses yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. yeah. Yep, Ezekiel 33 and 32, it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice mm -hmm. and can put fail on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Yep, and that's exactly what it is. Um, they, they, It's a lovely song to them, and they hear our words, but they do them not. All right? They like everything that we're saying. They, they like seeing us out there, like, all right, I see y'all. They throw up the fist. They're like, man, I'm, I'm glad y'all out there standing up for our people, da, da, da. But you ain't doing nothing that we're telling you to do. Because what we're telling you to do is what Yah Bashim Yah Shai says to do. And that's the spirit, if I can add, um, because what? You were just going into what? Isaiah 6 and 9. So really, mm -hmm. the Lord the Lord sent the angel to really uh, block them uh, 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 from being able to accept it, to perceive it, to understand it. And, and, and what? For a reason. Because it's not, it's not meant for them to get it. It's only meant for who to get it, the elect. Can I pull out this quick precept right before you finish? Uh oh, bring it out, bro. Baba Kasha. I'm, I'm going to jump straight to this, uh, the point. Revelation 14 and 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. There you go. Hey, no man, could, no man could learn that song. No man could learn this song that we're singing, you know? Yep. No man could put these precepts together and understand it but the 144,000. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, the rest of the 33.3%, you know, which consists of help, you know, women yep. and children yep. who are in order. You know, those are the only ones who this is a, uh, who, the, who is the tunes are, the tunes is really for, man. That's right. You know, but to, to the rest of these niggas, it's like, you ride and you listen to 106 k here or you listen to the radio. It's a song that's on the hour every hour. You're like, damn, they playing this shit out, man. I don't even really even like yep, it. Yep. This ain't even but a song. song yeah. in your head, you know. Yep. That's how we is. Now stop on your block till you drop, man. You gonna keep hearing this song, man. Even though you ain't got the ears to hear it, you gonna keep hearing it, man. That's right. Timeless classic. <laughs> exactly, man. Timeless classic, man. <laughs> the one the most high and do it forever, man. Yeah, this is yeah. the same song on my side was singing. All right, those who have the ears to hear. You you were receiving, you know that my size P, I mean my size David was Peter. Yep. That's right. And we're the house of David. Right. Y'all niggas the house of Saul. Good, good, good. You got it, brother. Kind of says, uh Ezekiel thirty three and thirty two again it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse thirty three. And when this cometh to pass, Lo, it will come. Mm -hmm. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yep, and that's when they're going to know they fucked up. <laughs> all right, because <laughs> everything that we say is going to be happening. And that's when they're going to know after, like, all all this whole time you've been coming up against us saying that, like, oh, they was do, they're not they're not real Israelites. They're they're teaching the off doctrine, this and that. You're going to realize at that moment when the, all, the time of Jacob's trouble, all hell break loose in that same Red Hebrew, Hebrew Edomite you want to join hand in hand with. He putting your ass to death. You're going to realize that you you chose the wrong side. You was the house of Saul. Yeah, and, and, certain, and certain of you guys are already starting to realize that. That's why, what, you creeping back on the comment boards, all right, trying to, try to say Shalom, throwing precepts to brothers' videos, all right, trying to, hey, 
trying to creep back in there, man, because you, you, you see what time it is. You see who the Lord is with, and you see that the Lord is, is totally against you, man. And that this place is what? Totally done. Right. Hey, uh, a quick one right quick. James, James 1 and 8. God. says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yeah, you double-minded, man. And, and, and that's the spirit, you know, because the apostles been saying that shit forever, man. Yep. You know? Hey, man, you, you over there keep dibbling, dabbling, all right? You know, hey, we got the truth, man. What the hell, you, what else, what you looking for? You know, you guys over here, you went to this, you went, you went to that. You want, you like what this group brings out. Well, go join them, man. You over here, you're, you're double-hearted. You're double-minded. You're going back and forth. You're sweet. Hey, you're lukewarm, you know? And, uh, and you're also being a, a spiritual harlot. Yeah, yep, the spirit, yep. Yeah, you also being a, a hoe, man. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So ulti ultimately, what you 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 uh you find yourself what committing spiritual adultery on the heavenly Father, you know. That's right. You, you got it, bro. Yeah, let me get this in. Um, I'm gonna get this in Second Samuel now. Yeah, yeah, kind, kind, kind. Yeah, that's the spirit, though. Hey, that's the spirit. We are going right back. Hey, the spirit is beautiful, man. The why y'all about to shine? Cause what? <laughs> With, with, with demon, huh? Uh, now you, you got. I already know what you're gonna say, bro. Go ahead, Salaki. What demon did Saul did, did Saul have on him? That uh, uh, what Esau uh, 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 terminized today as as what the bipolarism, mm -hmm. which the double minded, going, huh? Double minded, yeah, double minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're tossed to and fro, back and forth. You're unstable. All right, and that's 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 the demon that what that Saul has had on him, and, and, and just. Just so coincidentally, which there is no such thing as coincidences, you peep, you niggas have on you today. You have that same exact spirit showing, indicating that what? You have that same household, you know? Two hearts. Two hearts. <laughs> and, and who and who was able to uh, uh, relieve uh, uh, Saul of them demons? And that's why you guys try to come to, uh, to us, starting with our apostle elders, King David. The house of David playing what? That heart. All right, that lovely song through the spirit, man. You know? You pop, you pop. You got it, brother. Second Samuel 3 and 1. Now, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Mm -hmm. Which, which David like, don't. Which we are, we're at war to this very day. You know? Straight up. Yeah. Hey, we at war. Yeah, you got it, brother. But no, no, I was agreeing. Because, like, the scriptures tell you to make your forehead hard against their forehead. And who is our forehead hard against? The house of Saul. Yep. Because they, hey. they're the ones that's, they're the ones coming up against us. Yep. Because y'all ain't right. You trying to come up against us and try to stop us from what we doing. Because you mad that that the Lord chose us. Really? That y'all Bashim Yahushua is dealing with us and not with you. Mm -hmm. And you're jealous about it. And you're mad. You're uh, I got to jump to this precept for you, um, Lamar. This Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever mm -hmm. that this rebellious people yeah. Lying children. Yep, and that's that's our people. Rebel, they're rebellious. All right, and the brothers brought up the scripture earlier. Rebellion is as, as is as the um, sin of witchcraft, and that's that's two thirds of our people. They're rebellious. Is period. All period. right, you don't want to you don't want to be right. We tell you if we tell you uh, to not eat shrimp, you'll go and eat it just because we said not to do it. All yeah. right, that's how that's how rebellious you are. Just. Just to just to be rebellious, like that's how much of a demon you are. You don't want to. You'll do the exact opposite of what we say to do, just to be a demon. Yep. Because you are yep. a demon. Yes. You have your father the devil. That's yep. exactly what Esau does. The weak red Hebrew in the mouth. That's right. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, "Which say to the seers, we not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things." Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the truth. Yeah, and that's exactly what they want to hear. That's why they're mad at us because we're not telling we're not telling you lies. We're not telling you smooth things. All right, we're not telling you deceits. All right, we're telling you everything raw, straight, and uncut, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what they hate because we we being real about it. All right, like Isaiah fifty eight one say. All right, to uh, rise up your voice like a trumpet and show our people their transgression. So if you going off or something, we gonna we gonna point that shit out. And they're mad about us being real, real and upfront about the the will of Yah, Bashem Yahushai. They want to do go what um do what, go listen to these other people, man. 
All right, that's really from the house of Saul. Cause what are they telling you? Oh, it's cool. You could, you're a sister. Yeah, yeah. You could make yeah. videos. You could, uh, you could do what you want to do. All right, the Lord, the Lord is gonna forgive you. It's not about hate. He's, he's telling you nothing but lies. Yet our people love to hear lies, cause that's the type of society we live in today. Red, ran by the red, who we eat like. Mm -hmm. They teach you to love lies, and our people, just like the brother said, they're of their father the devil. So what? They love to hear those lies as well. Yeah, one more verse, Isaiah 30 and 11. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Mm -hmm. so that's what they ultimately want want uh, want to happen. Because it's not it's not what we're what we're saying per se. It's, this is what they, uh, thus, thou, uh, thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, in which our people hate hearing what the Lord has to say. All right, hate listening to the Heavenly Father. Okay. You know that, and then, and then what they uh, uh, in in um in turns they they hate what the messengers of the heavenly father the prophets, okay? Am I there for your enemy? Because I tell you the truth, they hate the truth. Why? Because they, like the brother referred to Saint John eight forty four, they are their father the devil. All right, truth don't abide in them. You know, That's right? All right, right. It's, not, it's not in them, man. All right, you know. So that so what they don't ultimately what they want to they want to uh, cleave. Unto lies and, and, and to this society, unto Babylon, man, you know, which is filled with nothing but lies, sorcery, wickedness, ultimately, you know. Yep. And and we're the uh and we're the total opposite. Yep. Yep. You know. So what? So what does that? What does that mean? It's gonna be a battle. That's right. All right. That's how the Most High. Matter of fact, let me get this in Ecclesiastes thirteen. That's how the Most High sets things up. One against another, two and two. Yeah, that's, yep. I was that's gonna fair. get that. Yep. Yep. Uh. I got it. Uh, you can break it down. Okay. Uh, this one, I might be the rock 33, excuse me. I know you got it, bro. Oh, I got it. I got I got it, sir. Oh, yeah, go ahead and break it up. Okay. This uh, is this Ciroc 33 and 14 a good is set against evil and and life against death so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly yep. yeah we, and that's that's the part that's the spiritual battle that we're that we're up against you know and we're and we're uh when we're going to this lesson we're not only up against the red uh the weak red hebrew edomite these other heathen nations man we're up against two-thirds of our own people man all right because they're 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 totally against righteousness and, and against the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's why the majority of the people who come up against us are are to our own people, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which really you're not even our people, man. You're you you goddamn heathens. You're Babylonians, all right, you know, all right. You're you're going to be destroyed, you know. That's right. That's a part of the battle, though. That's the spiritual battle that we're up against because what. They're heavily under the vibration of the spiritual demon Satan. Mm -hmm. All right, you know. So, so guess what? They're being, they're being operate. They're they're being operated by the spiritual demon Satan. He has a total control over them, man. All right, you know. And and, and Satan is using them to what? To to come up come up against us. Hey, come up against the house of David. Satan is using Saul to come up against the house of David, man. I got a uh, precept. Yeah. The second Ezra is 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are, they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, incredulity means uh, inabil uh, inability to, uh, uh, to believe. Cause, right. Hey, because faith is a gift, man. All right. I told you that Ephesians 2 and 8, you know. They wasn't they wasn't given uh, uh uh this gift of faith, all right. That's why I, as the spirit I was meditating on, on that um um yesterday when we were talking about fear. You know how the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, all right. He gave us the spirit of faith, faith in Him. Yep. Fear, fear. No, and what was the brothers bringing out right now? See, the the two thirds of our people wasn't given the spirit of, of faith. They were given the spirit of fear, and that's why what that's why they're doing all this. That's why they're behaving themselves like cowards, coons. And dishonorable niggas, man. 
Yep, and trying to push that spirit on us. Yep. Mr. Yep. Love's company, you know? Yeah, the house of thought trying to... T- look, the house of thought, man, is trying to... Hey, they getting, they getting deeper and deeper, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know, they our, our house is small. It's, it's a small house, you know? Okay, it's small, small but mighty. Yeah, small but mighty, man. Most high deal with a small number. Okay. You know, and we, we, don't fear, we don't fear none of you niggas, like the scripture say. Read that again. Uh, yeah. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yep. Fear not the imaginations against thee. All right, see, because in this, in this um, coordination right here, it's just an imagination that you have against us. Yep. According to Isaiah 30 and 20, man, we're not going to be pushed into a corner anymore. Yep. You didn't kill us our past lives, all right? You, 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 you did that. But you're hearing this time, man, it's just a wicked imagination that you have against the men of the Lord, all right? Mm-hmm. But this time, man, the Lord, he's going to raise up a standard, not only against this, the weak red Hebrew Edomite, but against you, against you bitch-ass niggas too, man. That's right. See here, let not the incredulity, the incredulity of them totally that speak against thee. Yep. All right? Because what, man? Every idle word that man shall speak, he's going to have to give a count of, man. Everything that you, that you think about us and you don't rebuke, are you come on the comment board and say? Are you walk past the camp and say? Are you say amongst each other, man? The angel got that jotted down. Uh-huh. You got it, bro. Uh, I just had one more verse. It says, mm-hmm. verse 4, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Oh, uh, yeah, the most I'm going to kill all you uh, you, uh, you non-believers, man. That's right. You know, y'all about going to put you to death. All right? Just as he did Saul, man. You know? Just as he did Saul, man. It's going to be the same same outcome for the whole rebellious house, man. For the whole rebellious house of Israel, the two-thirds. Right, what, what you see that, um, you know, you're in, you're in the mind frame. You have it in the mind frame. It's like the things are turning, man. Everybody's going down. And we're, um, Palm Yasserala, we're being rosen up, you know. So they've been, they, 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 they've been against us. But what are they going to try to do uh, once? All hell breaks loose, and I, um, according to Psalms 110 and 3, our people still be willing to dare thy power. That's when they're going to try to join us. Mm-hmm. All right? We're spiritual men. Just like we judge your spirit now, we're going to be even more in the spirit then, man. You know? And those, and those who, you know, who, uh, you know, who might be against us now, man, all right? You know, just as it was with, um, with Paul, up until, you know, he was opened up into it. Those who are opened up into it, man, through the spirit, and we're going to receive them through the spirit. Mm-hmm. But all you niggas who just try to jump on the team, because all hell is breaking loose and the most high gonna have his men arms secured, or you can get put to death. That's right. Straight like that. That was it on that, Samar? Kind of, was it on that. Yeah, uh, back in Second Samuel uh, chapter 3, verse 1. Now, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. It said there was long war, and that war is still going on to this day. And we see, and you're just seeing it still play out, how the house of Saul is getting weaker and the house of David is getting stronger. All right? Because these people that's on the comment boards talking their bullshit or saying whatever they want to say, trying to uh, be gainsayers, this and that, now they're they, they getting weak, man. They ain't got, you don't got nothing to say, man. Your arguments is not, you're, it's weak, all right? And you just see us going harder than ever, all right? Making more videos. We ain't even entertaining y'all no more. We ain't going back and forth. Because right? we know what's going to happen to you, man. We ain't got to go back and forth with nobody that don't believe. Why? Because all the unfaithful are going to die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, you're not you're not, you're not, not going to win, ultimately. You had more on that, OR? No, that was it. Okay, I got this. Back back it up right up. Precept. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 13. For evil mm-hmm. men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yep. Damn, evil men and seducers go wax worse and worse. All right, so as we wax stronger and stronger in the spirit, yep. they gonna just go and wax worse and worse, deceiving, deceiving, and being deceived. You see what's happening to IUIC? You know, you see what's happening to IUIC man who spoke all type of uh slanderous things against the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders. Yep. You know, now they're being uh they're being exposed. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. Read it again. Yari, I'm about to say. This is uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Oh, yeah, man. Because, hey, ultimately, man, if you if our gospel is said, 
it is here to who? Them that are lost. Yep. When it says who the uh, who the God of this of, of this world, the weak red Hebrew Edomite, have binded the minds of them which believe not. All right. The scripture also said the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. Yep. That's right. Letting you know that what? You're being you're being deceived by the spiritual demon Satan who actually works on the who is the left hand angel of the Heavenly Father. You know? Yep. Read on, bro. Yeah, yeah cut, cut. All right, it says, verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Mm -hmm. And assured of, man. So I said, before you go to build this house, before you go to take yep. part in it, before you pick up your own, your spiritual hammer, your nails, and whatever you know you own, whatever part you got to play in building this temple, That's you need right. to count the cost. All right, according to St. Luke, the 14th chapter, you need to count the cost, man. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time, Mike. Yeah, yeah, come on. This is uh, 2 Timothy uh, 3 and 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom uh, thou hast learned them. Hey, and every member of the uh, of the elect, all right, every member of the house of David is going to continue to do that, man, and wax stronger and stronger in the faith. Mm -hmm. All right. While the, uh, the the other guys, the underwears who um who crept in, are going to get uh put out. That's right. You know, it's some weak. It's some it's some uh some niggas who uh belong in the house of Saul amongst us now. In all in all uh, in all attempts, all throughout the sincere men of great millstone, there are some um some 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 guys who belong in the house of Saul around. You know, hmm. who inwardly, man, they trying to they they trying to beat us while they on the team, man. But what the angel of the Lord is going to do to stay away. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> that's right. You got more, bro? Yeah, that's pretty much the point, unless you wanted me to continue. Oh, no, no. Let me, uh, matter of fact, let me see. Uh, yep. Just to uh, back up the point I just made, you can speak on the yard, yeah? Okay. Do verse uh, four, for there are certain men crept in unawares mm -hmm. who were be who were before of all ordained to this condemnation. Yeah, yeah, crept in unawares, man. All right, you 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 came in another way, and that's what a lot of guys are are um are are trying to do. That's what they have yep. done. They've been spotted and, and, and casted out. All right, through the spirit and power of y'all by Shem Yahweh, and that's what a lot of guys are trying to do right now. They trying to leave the house of Saul. They try to creep into the house of David. All right, but guess what? The spirit the spirit of y'all by Shem Yahweh uh, uh, sees you, watch is watching you, acknowledge you, and guess what? The Lord puts the spirit on his men to what to uh uh um. Uh, to put that mark on you, all right? You know, to put that scopeo on you, man. That scopeo. Watch this guy, man. Watch this nigga, you know, through the spirit, all right? You crept in under words. Go, uh, go ahead, Ock. For there are certain men crept in under words who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Yeah, it's all about, it's all about uh, uh, pre predestination, all right? All right. Right. Hey, hey, everybody's falling to their uh their rightful lots, okay? The way that the Lord set this up from the foundations is it, just the story is just playing out. All right? So so these these guys ultimately they were, they were um uh, ordained for this for this condemnation, man. Just like the Lord knew uh uh like the Lord told uh Jeremiah uh, uh before I formed thee, I knew thee. Before I formed in the belly, I knew thee. Yeah. And I and I what? I ordained thee to be a prophet. Yep, that's right. You know, hey, 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 we went, we went into the brother brought out, uh, I believe what Sirach. There are two, two and two, one against another. All right, that's right. So there were, there were men, there were men to, that are ordained to be of the house of David, and there, there are uh, uh, men that were ordained to be of the house of Saul. You know, that's right, that's right. It says, "Who were before of all ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men." Turning the grace of mm -hmm. our power into lasciviousness. Yeah, yeah. The god, hey, the godly versus the sinner, the ungodly mm -hmm. man. Okay. That's right. Can you can you repeat that? That uh, can you can you start back up, Baba Kishar? Yeah, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start again from the top of four. Hey, okay. Two verse four. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness yep. and denying the Lord and like it and denying 
the only Lord power in our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yeah, how do you deny him in, in, in all your works? We were going into uh, earlier in, in, in this lesson, man. Yep, so, yep. Going after your own covetousness. All right, being, being rebellious, okay? Being disobedient, being disorderly, doing what you want to do, all right? Not following the will in the in, in an order that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai has set up. All right? You know? And to put, put demons on other brothers. No, hey, no, man, this brother ain't right. Try to put demons on, on brothers to look at other brothers a certain way. Or try to try to uh uh um uh um tur uh turn them over to doctors of devils. No, I mm -hmm. don't know what that mean, brother. Or the, the apostles, the elders, they don't know what they're talking about. This what this mean. All right. You you type of demons, man. But you always, hey, you, hey, you always get fouled out, man. All right, and what you get, you get uh, uh, uh casted out through the spirit, and you're gonna be destroyed, man. Yahweh by Shai is gonna utterly destroy the house of Saul, man. Right. Okay. That's right. You have more on that, bro? Oh well, no, that was it. I got, I got a precept backing that up. You know, I, I just it just popped in my mind when you said that. This is uh, mm -hmm. First John two and nineteen. So, right, yep, go right with it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It says they uh they went out from us, but they were not of us. Mm -hmm. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. That's why what we just read, but continuing the things which thou has learned. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, sa it says they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Mm -hmm. He wasn't of the house of David. He was of the house of Saul. And those may manifest like that. All right. Because you would have continued with us, like the scripture said. If you was really a part of the house of David, the true men that are of the house of David, they're going to continue doing what they're supposed to do. You, you will continue to wax stronger, which which uh, when you look into that word endure, it means to make heart, to make hardened, to weak, to, right. to make stronger. You will continue to endure. That's right. Yeah, that, that's, that's the, that's the uh, precept I had. You got anything else some more? Uh, I got um, I got this. Uh, unless you had a, you had a precept block. No, no, you got it, bro. Okay, come. This is uh, Acts five and thirty eight. It says, mm. and, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye find even at uh, least. Happily, you be found even to fight against the Most High. Yeah, and that's why this this council and this work hasn't haven't stopped nonstop. Oh, you because it's 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 not of men; it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's right. And anybody that's fighting against it, you really fighting against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because mm -hmm. you're not really coming up against us. You're coming up against the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because that's the spirit that we're coming in. All right, because we're not out there on, according to our own will. We're out there according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He chose us to be out there, all right? We didn't just wake up and say we wanted to go do this, go do that, all right? No, man, we were. it was already predestinated. It was, we was chosen. And we were just it was accepting. A, it was ordained. Yep, we were ordained. And we're accepting the fact that we were ordained and we're embracing that, all right? And y'all mad about it. Mm -hmm. That's why you're trying to fight against us because you're mad that we're we're bold, being bold, more bold in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yep. You're just, you're just like, uh, like we were referring to, uh, in the book of Nehemiah, like uh, like Sambalot, the Hor the Horite, mm -hmm. Tobiah, all right, the Am the Ammonite, these heathens, because you you're uh, two thirds of our people are spiritual heathens, you know what they what they what they were doing when uh during the time of Nehemiah, we were rebuild uh rebuilding the uh of the house which we're doing right now, the house of David are doing right now, all right, spiritually, okay, because what we all make we all make up the stones of the house, we're all lively stones. Okay, what did what did those what did those heathens those demons do? They came up against the Israelites, man. They they attempted to stop them from building, all right. You know to cause mischief, to spread lies to the king, uh, during that time, to uh, uh to attempt to put fear in Nehemiah and, and, and the Israelites, all right. You know, and, and but guess what? They didn't prevail. You niggas ain't gonna prevail. Esau, you're not gonna prevail. None of you heathens are gonna prevail through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Or against the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, at least, uh, uh, shall I say, you know, right. you you already you already lost, all right. Yahweh Shai, 
Yahweh Shai already got the victory two thousand years ago, man. So so really, hey man, it's just it's just man, uh, it's just manifesting right now. All right, the wind is just manifesting right now. All right, and your right. feet is just manifesting right now. You know. Yeah, hey, uh, we can close that on this through the spirit, unless brothers have something. Let's see how the spirit moves. Bring hey, it out though. All right. <laughs> This uh, Amos 9 and 8, it says, mm -hmm. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the simple kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that yeah, I will not know, utterly when this, destroy when this, written, when this was written initially, it was talking about you wicked niggas. Yep, yep. You know, but the word of the most high is twofold, it's manifold, and endure forever. That's right. So now we're talking about the wicked kingdom that you niggas love, man. Yep. You know, Egypt. Spiritual Egypt, Babylon the Great. The Lord is going to destroy this place with two rebellious ass niggas in it. Yes. As a matter of fact, in the first Peter fourth chapter, the time has come where judgment is going to be, take off on you niggas first. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it says it says uh, at the house of the Most High, which really, right. yeah, which which is, includes the whole house. Yet, you know, you it's going to be two different sorts sorts of judgment rewards. All right, the judgment and the reward of the wicked, the house of Saul, and then the judgment and the reward of the righteous, the house of David. You know, and right, right. now, that right now, there's being a clear uh, 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 separation being made, mm -hmm. and a clear indication of who's of what house. You know, it says, uh, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the simple kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying mm -hmm. that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob," saith the Lord. For Lord, yeah, the most to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Why? Because of that remnant. Okay. You know, because of the remnant that he is preserving now, man. Mm. Read on, bro. Uh, verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as, a, uh, as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yeah, and it's, it's sifting season, especially now, but it's, it's all year round, you know. Yeah. Now I was saying I was getting ready to return. Ain't nobody going, uh, ain't no underwear that's going to be creeping in, okay? Ain't no lukewarm guys going to be standing around, you know? The most high is, it's, it's, hey, man, it's a tight-knit, tight-knit bunch, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a spirit. You know, man. but you say, what, to leave grain fall up on the ground, so send out the 144,000 men fall out. He's going to, he going to, his line is going to be girded up, man. That's right, that's right. That's right. Verse, uh, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, that's a proud statement, man. Okay. Sure. What did it, it say? The most high won't do good, nor will he do evil? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's how, that's how the rebellious house thinks, man. Okay. That's right. Yep, that's right. It says, um, verse 11, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David, that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Mm -hmm. Hey, when he brothers can break that down. Yeah. Yeah. The, the tabernacle is talking about a house, the house of David and the Lord, the Lord is building that house up uh, uh, right now with, with the elect. Cause what during the rule of, of King David, uh, King David, which was a, uh, 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 of the, of the tribe of Judah, the head tribe. Yeah. He had he had all the nations under him, how how mm -hmm. complete order how it's supposed to be, leading it to what when his son King Solomon, who who who, who is indeed Yahweh Shai for those those who have spiritual ears to hear, all right he had forty years of peace, all right, with uh uh, uh with um um with that uh with with the nation of Israel in order, okay, all right, and it it all started with what the uh the house of the house of David. Da would die, you know, the, uh, uh, the beloved of the Most High. Yeah, that's right. And, there and they said, well, and I will build it like in the days of old. God. Hey, man, I, I, it, you know, I just thought about it like, man, we, the house, the house of David, man, we ain't been linked up in a long time, man. Yep. You know, we, you know, because after, you know, after Solomon, which, you know, brothers know the history, mm -hmm. it was a big thing. And we were split for a long ass time, man. Okay. All right, but here it is now. We're being brought back together in the last days. It's the Most High is closing up the breaches. All right? And Yahweh Shah is with us. All right? And we're going to forever be together, man. We're going, right. we're going to forever be Yahweh Shah once we deliver Yahweh Rakhazah. Yep. If anything, we're, brothers will get more closer than ever, you know? Yep. Because the Lord is literally, like, closing up the, those breaches, those gaps, everything. You know, the friction, whatever. The Lord is just, like, 
closing it up, man, to where we just com completely uh, uh, fit each other. You know, we make up the stones, so we just, like, completely go together like Legos, you know? Like Tetris, however you want to think about it, you know? The pieces completely uh, 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 fall together rather than fall apart, you know? That's right. It says, um, in that day, will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. All right. Yes, and that's that's what the Lord is is doing right now, man. All right. That's the spirit we were uh, mainly focusing on during this lesson. You know, the house of David and the house of Saul, because really, that's that's what it is. All right. You know, and, and, and sh as you can see, precept upon precept, that's how the heavenly Father uh, uh, set this battle up. Okay. Sure. And we we love it. We wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, guess what? We on the we on the winning team. We on the victorious team, man. All right. Better 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 you guys than than us. All right. Yeah. And we love spiritually beating up you demons. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hey, well, David, well, David was a mighty man, right? Okay. Well, we said the Lord teach of his hands to, to battle. Saul so the hundred and forty four chapters. Yep. Yeah. Right. So we we know. The house of David is, is basically putting the nations in subjection spiritually. Mm. You know? And when your side returns, man, all right, that's when it's going to get real physical. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. That's right. You know? And, you, and all you niggas from the house of Saul, man, you're going to die, and you're going to come back through the loins of the uh, the elect. That's right. Yep. That, that's what it is, you know? All right. And, and man, for, for the rest of you, Man, Esau, you already know you through, all right? You brave Edomites, all right? You, man, you heathen nations, man. That's why it says in Psalms, the second chapter, why did the heathen rage? You don't, you you got necks in slavery, all right? You know? All right? It's it's uh, it's uh Israel's uh, uh time to rule, okay? In, in proper right. order. Yahweh Shai, King David, all right? You know? The, the, uh, the elect making up the governing body, okay? And, and the rest of Israel, man. Forever, mm -hmm. forever too, you know. Right. And guess what? You're not a part of that. All right. You'll never be a part of that. All right. Two thirds. They're just not a part of it on this side. Okay. Like the brother said, they're gonna be put to death on this on this side, and they're gonna come back through the loins of the elect. Okay. And then they're gonna partake in the kingdom. Yet you you mm -hmm. heathen nations, man. Hey, you gonna you gonna always be below the nation of Israel. You're never gonna be equal. All right. You're never gonna be above. All right. You're always going to be below where you, where, where, the, where you were always purpose to be. And Esau, man, you just going to be exterminated after that, after that thousand years, man. All right? That's right. That's right. You know? Yeah. So if any brothers had anything to add, man, sure. You know? Well, no, beautifully, beautifully put, Akim. Okay. 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 Hey, so Lord's will, this this lesson was edifying uh, uh, hey, to the house of David. All right? True. You know, um, we're going to go ahead and close out once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Karkwadash. All right. You know, a uh, hey, Shalom to the elect. Hey, Amen. Death to the wicked. You know? Hey, shalom. Shalom.